Alright, so we got Sigma 3. Okay, so the first thing in this whole, like, level is something called the Armadillo Skip. And it lets you skip um, the Armadillo boss that it's coming up. And basically the way it works is um, you lay down a charged ice sled. And what happens is the ice sled actually pushes you to the door because normally what happens is um, it once you get to a certain point before the door it'll actually pan the camera up and that triggers the condition for armadillo to spawn uh, naturally but you're actually gonna bypass that but anyway you need to have your hands like right there and then you need to lay down the ice sled and have your hands like right before that door because if you go forward anymore you're gonna you're gonna pan up the camera and you see what what happens is the ice sled actually zips you forward in a zero frame window which isn't enough time for the game to recognize an action happened so that's how that trick works but the method I was doing before was like the fastest way but that that that's like an easier that's like an easier kind of method and I'm like I'm basically showing off mistakes that you can make while doing this trick but see right there go too far forward you're gonna pan up the camera and armadillo is gonna spawn but yeah right there see what happens is like you can jump and it actually spawn armadillo because now the camera is up far enough to uh, you know trigger the condition for it to happen so yeah, it's kinda it, it's kinda silly you're just kinda rolling around and shit you got the boss music playing but anyway, okay, now that that's out the, out the, out the fuck out the way, um, we got a, we got a new trick, another trick right after it, it's called the Chameleon Airhead Oaken. And basically, this is the setup you want to have whenever you approach this door. So, um, you can actually have the art, the ice ready to go. Yeah, the ice is actually really fucking good in the speedrun. It allows for a skip and, uh, this right here. So pretty much the way this trick works is you want to um, be able to put an ice sled on the wall. So watch this. Going to jump up and lay the ice sled down. And what that does is create a platform. Now, you can Hadoken off this platform by put in, doing the input, you know, uh, down forward. And then you have to switch to X Buster. And then you can mash for air Hadoken. But see, the problem is with this trick is it's very luck-based. And as you can see, that spike almost hit me. And those spikes are very random. So this trick is kind of hard, but this is like an easier way to do it. You can do it um, just normally. You just kind of come in with uh, charged sea sting. And then you can just kind of fight them normally with uh, boomerangs as usual. But yeah, this, uh, this strat, the air Hadoken strat, It'll take some practice, but you can't Hadoken, obviously, without the X Buster. But then, uh, yeah, after this, you just charge Sea Sting again, go through the door. But yeah, Air Hadoken uh, takes a lot of practice. I would review this video if you really want to learn it. But yeah, for Mandrel, Ice, Kaboom. Really fucking easy. Uh, freeze him, done. Like, you know, Air, air uh, Hadoken, boom, one shot. And then coming up, uh, there's this little section it's with the fish. You can actually boost off the fish like that. Boom! You gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta get boosted before you uh, do the chart, the the charge spark. Watch. So you have to get, you have to, you have to s start to get boosted before you want to lay that shit off to get the, like the full effect. Just a little bit of tiny time saver there. And then this right here. Um, is very consistent this octopus fight it's what are we one shot and then Hadoken so it's it's one lemon and then Hadoken it it, it it's consistent like it, it it's so fucking easy like and then this another charge sea sting going through the thing so you don't get damaged and then uh there's another th th this is also very easy He's always going to jump, and you just want to jump back a little bit 
as like so, and then do Hadouken. Boom. It's very easy. Uh, it's just the the thing is with this stage is after you do the Sting Hedo and the Armadillo skip, like the entire level is easy. I mean, it, this 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 guy can be a little tricky, but okay, so. You can either go diagonally down or just straight down. And this is the best pattern you want right here. Now what can happen is that he can go over you. And this at this point, this is called the Chompedo. And you actually do head Doken right before he lands on you. And that's what you want to do. See, again, that's when you want to do head Doken, like as soon as he's about to come down. So that's the chomp hedo. So that so either either way you can get Hedoken. So that's that's Sigma three. Um, again, like armadillo skip and uh, air Hedoken are two really essential tricks. But yeah, you only got one more level after this. It's final Sigma. So yeah, armadillo skip. Practice this. It's a very easy trick. But this is like the fastest method, so. Right, peace out.